Hello there. Thank you as always for joining me today for another lovely day and another episode of Tea Time with Tawny, where today I'm excited as always. I'm just an excited person. I guess you can call me that to talk about the tea I'm drinking, which today is peppermint tea and who doesn't love peppermint tea? Uh, peppermint is so delicious and also has a ton of health benefits as most of the, all the teas that I choose to drink have a lot of health benefits as it's a really good way for liquid to get into your body and to replenish it. Now, a couple of the benefits, as you can see here, beside helping with good breath and freshness, it doesn't have any caffeine in it. So if you're someone that's sensitive to caffeine, this is a great tea to drink that still kind of gives you a little bit of energy, actually, because of the the aroma, the taste, and, and then the digestive property that help with drinking this tea. So cheers to today and to peppermint tea. And you know, I put honey in all of my teas, so it doesn't taste the same to me without honey. And today is a good day that I thought to talk about something very near and dear to my heart, but also in everyone's ability is a word called compassion. And I wanted to discuss about just being a compassionate person. Now, what does it mean to have compassion, right? You're basically recognizing the suffering of others and you want to take action to help. Now, more than ever, compassion is a really huge word to latch onto, but not just the word, yet the meaning of it and the action behind the word specifically. It just really embodies a, a quite tangible expression of love for those who are suffering. And as you may or may not know and be aware, if you have turned on the television, since most of us are our social distancing, so we may be watching more television than we typically watch, the world needs a lot of compassion. Our neighbors, our friends, our relatives, uh, our, uh, people that we don't even know, strangers that we walk by in the store are suffering right now, suffering of um, the loss of somebody else, possibly, and their own health. So somewhere where you can step in and say, I'm going to, you know, have this good subconscious mind and take good care of my own body and be healthy. But if you have the ability to, to offer some compassion to some, to some people, you know, basically if someone is in distress and you can offer your positive energy to help them, that's what we're going for. Now, a few of the things you can do to be a compassionate person when I know there's a very difficult process in our lives right now. And that's a challenge of not being able to have that social interaction that we're, we're very keen to receiving on a daily basis in our lives, whether it's a friend, a family, a work colleague, or even a stranger, we get that social interaction where we get to smile at people. We get to wave to people. We get to say hello to people. Um, there's so many different w ways and, and slight enjoyment and pleasure in the simple enjoyment of walking by someone and saying hello. Well, lately we've all been wearing masks, so you can't see so somewhat <laughs> if someone's smiling unless they really make an effort to smile with their eyes. Now, having compassion, what's the meaning of that? If, if it's a word that you know of, but you don't, maybe you haven't had a lot of compassion in your own life, or it sounds really interesting, but you're not sure where to go with it. It's the component of the action is really what separates compassion from something such as empathy or sympathy, or whether you pity someone, you're concerned about them, you're offering them your condolences, you have a sensitivity or maybe a tenderness towards them, or the commiseration of any other compassion synonym, essentially. Compassion gets involved. Now, one small example of something that I've recently done that uh, has, has offered compassion has been to donate platelets, something that maybe many of you have never even thought to do, but it's quite easy to do. You sit in a chair for about an hour and 20 minutes of your time and you help save somebody's life, whether it's someone you know or you don't know. It's a pretty easy way to have compassion and to act right now. And it's something that's very needed. Um, if we can just have basically in life, you know, an intrinsic motivation without an expectation of reward, that's a really good way to become and to be compassionate. 
right now more than ever, I'm noticing posts of people's children asking for help, reaching out for why their children maybe aren't as motivated in school as they normally are. And they're having a hard time finding a meaning for such, you know, such day. <laughs> I would strongly advise having your children and yourselves as a family practice compassion together. That could be something that I think fulfills a big void that we're missing out on right now. It's basically that, you know, that fatal capacity for feeling what it is like to live inside someone else's skin, essentially. It is also the knowledge that there can never really be any peace and joy for me until there is peace and joy finally for you too. Now, if we can live in a world with loving kindness, uh, obviously that is the solution. To add on to this, something I pride myself in as being a compassionate person is there's something I wanted to connect to compassion and that is musicians and artists. Most every single artist I have surrounded myself by whom I've had the honor or the pleasure of performing with on stage, in a recording session, in a rehearsal, or any of the above, every single one of those people is typically a compassionate person that is literally offering their heart and their compassion and their kindness through their art of music. Something we've all actually done naturally for most of our lives, it's just not something we tend to connect. Basically, compassion is a natural tendency since it is essential for human survival for one to have compassion. So we all have it. It's, it's a matter of whether or not we choose to practice it and choose to use it in our daily lives. I think that that's really checking in with yourself regardless of anything that's going on today in or outside of the television. Since compassion is a natural tendency to survive, wouldn't it be great if we can translate survival of the fittest? to survival of the kindest. Imagine if we lived in a world where everyone was more concerned about the well-being of others around them. Of course, knowing that you have to love yourself most and, and take care of yourself first and foremost, but it's where do you go from there? So if you're at home feeling, you know, a little bit confused in what to do next, I suggest practicing some compassion, seeing what you can do. Maybe your neighbors need some help. Maybe some of your neighbors are working so many hours right now that their children are having a difficult time in school and you happen to have a little bit of extra time to offer compassion and maybe help them cook a meal once a week to alleviate that extra 30 minutes in the evening of, of the time that they would have to spend on making a meal. Um, also, I wanted to encourage you, if you live in a place that can provide entertainment in your backyard and you have a wonderful neighbor, neighborhood of people whom have, have been going through a difficult time with all of this social distancing and all of the regulations put in place. Do you have a nice front yard or backyard that you wanted to offer for a performance where you can donate a minimum of $100 to the Tawny Lynn Music Services organization and then you can have a performance in your front yard or backyard of your place inviting all of your neighbors for donation only and you can pick the kind of performance that you're interested in so if that's something that you were interested in i wanted to leave you today with some beautiful music that is actually dona nobis pacem a piece uh, by von williams which stands for give us peace and there's a lot of poetry that is incorporated into this gorgeous piece of music it will be a live performance that you'll get to be witnessing where normally you'd pay money to purchase a ticket to see a performance such as this. So if you feel so inclined today or any day, please do get in touch with us as to how you can help support the music industry by your compassion. Thank you so much as always for joining me. Enjoy the gorgeous music that you get to witness today and I look forward to seeing you next time.